I be that young rapping dude Might just trap with you Coming with the thunder baby Might just clap your crew I roll out in the morning light With that Harley bike All black, I'm the party type And it's on tonight I just stepped in the Hey guys, Darkbreaker here with another commentary and for today's video we are playing with Fennec uh, against Nova including Vex and I'm playing with my team, uh, Bubble Team <laughs> funny name right? okay let's see I'm starting red buff and trying to go for level 4 uh, for level 4 clear so I'll be ready with my ultimate for the Drake fight. Playing red buff right now. Okay, Aroma's coming. Um, they already know now that I started red and know my position. That's good on his part to check where I'm starting. So I expect Murad to... Yeah, Murad usually starts on uh, blue and he will be level 4 at Drake as well, but I should be faster. Oh, he actually start... wait. He started red and went blue? No. Okay, let me think. Yeah, I guess he cleared blue first, then went for red, and then went for those small creeps. Oh, he's... yeah, yeah, he's already level 4. So he probably got help at the... at his blue buff, so otherwise he wouldn't be so quick already. And he chunked our support. That means... Yeah. Will be hard to defend the dragon because our support is missing and they can already start it while we have no map control around the dragon and Mora can stack on the dragon that means yeah exactly mm, yeah it's gone okay I'll, I'll be moving down back bot to clear my jungle and see if I can pressure with Fennec on any towers since Fennec is really good, like he's really strong to push towers early game because of his first skill. Okay, got it. Yeah, you, you can see Arum is constantly trying to pressure and scouting my position. That's good for the opponent jungler so we can know where I am and where he can force stuff without me being there or he can just try to invade me knowing for example now he he knew that i just did red buff and my blue buff is going to spawn so they could have prepared oh he's or he's actually coming uh, so they could have prepared to i still get it outsmited um yeah like like i said I just started red, Arum was already scouting and they already knew yeah, Fennec is going to go for his blue buff since it's going to be next in his uh, route. I'm trying to get a quick mini drake. Let's see, the wave is coming. I think I would try to pressure bot lane now. And I'm healing up anyways with the mini dragon. That's really good. Getting the bird for another stack. I know we have a wave coming, we are three people bot, and it seems like they are rotating top lane to push there, so we can try to pressure, like try to trade against them. So three guys are at top lane. I know he's a lone bot, so we can keep pressuring. Our Zenul is Wait, yeah, yeah, he's trying to defend. I still know they are topside and they are going for Drake right now. So I just keep pressuring. They're actually not on Drake yet. So I keep pressuring. Towers low, I'm Fennec. 
and the model is low as well so I just go for uh, straight for the tower now so it's a uh, wait it's a one for one trade they got top and dragon and we got bot but we are the scaling comp so I guess it's fine we, uh, we lost blue buff I get my red buff yeah we lost two dragons and they got well and we traded the tower same so far Okay, they could use the bot wave to push now. I will just stay. Wait. Mm. Yeah, I will try to defend it. Like, you always should try to predict where the enemies is going to push, looking at the minion waves, like where they can push. And always try to clear the ways, looking at the mini map. Even even if you just cleared, you look at the mini map. If the next wave is coming, you should try to clear the next wave, and after that you can roam. So always keep that in mind. Okay, I think Maloch is nearly dead. Okay, this Jenna went really aggressive, and we can kill him. We actually got first blood. Wow, six minutes in and only one kill fell so far. Okay. I think I will try to push top now, knowing that yeah, with mini mini buff, I'm rotating pretty quick. And more of this bot, yeah, this should be a free top tower for us. Even yeah, he's alone and. I don't know where the others are. Maybe they are preparing for bot dive. We can actually take dragon as well now. Okay. Oh, Morat is coming. Oh. <laughs> Guess who got outsmited now? Nice. Uh, unlucky. Well played by them. Yeah, but I think we're in a decent position. We still have two towers while they lost their side towers now. And we need to defend mid now. Can't lose that. Okay, Arum use ultimate on me. Okay, they are really deep in and I just got Zenny ultimate. Okay, we killed another one, let's see. Mid lane, they are still fighting. Morod is... Morod can still stack, we need to be careful. Like, they are probably... He probably has mm, side creeps. We just be greedy and pressure the midwave. Okay, he's top. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We can steal his blue buff. We got it. Maybe we can kill. Okay, just peel back. Getting mini drag now. I'm pretty farmed actually and <laughs> look at the score. It's 2-1 like everyone is just trying to go for objectives instead of kills We are in a good position we still have our we still have one tower advantage I mean they got they got three dragons, but we are not that far behind Even in levels I'm level 11 and they are 9 and 10 and Murad is probably 12 I guess. They are not doing much. They should be trying to pressure us since they have the more aggressive comp. They have Mallo, Morad and Ryoma. And even Arum for diving. Like Flicker, ultim uh, Flicker ultimate onto any carries is going to be super deadly for us. Okay, Marot has a creep to stack, so we need to position. Like, if you know, as you can see, the the little camp right next to the blue buff, you can stack from there, and so you need to keep your distance right exactly from from there. He's going for his blue buff now. Okay, I 
think yeah we can rush this okay we got it Murad trying to poke he has no creep now the next dragon is coming as well he's still he's st he has stacks now so keep the distance okay team got caught like I mean he saw that Murad was stacking so he has uh, he had to keep his distance from him I know our team is dead so we can't fight the dragon so we need oh lol I thought they would go for the dragon so we could try to sneak a dark slayer maybe but I guess he predicted it since we are playing Fennec okay they are trying to force it now to be careful okay they are playing very passive even though they have the stronger comp early at least trying to sneak it now since I I think Murad is going for his blue buff because it just spawned I think we can sneak it okay got it and <laughs> yeah okay Xenia Zin is getting the buff whatever I think they underestimated how quick we can just go for the objective since we are playing with Fennec. So while I, I knew he would go for blue buff so we had enough time to try a sneaky rush. Bot wave coming, let's try to rotate there and pressure the bot tower. Yeah get bot tower and then after that we can rotate to mid tower because the next wave is coming as well mm. yeah free tower for us I don't know what they're doing and lol Morot just got picked off what the Ryoma is pushing mid lane in the meantime so one has to defend we have no we have no wave so we should yeah kill, kill Ryoma wait for the next wave and then go for the mid tower or we just go for Dark Slayer since the Murad is down anyways. And we are playing Fennec. Even though we have the debuff, we can still go for it. Since Fennec is so good. Okay. Smite War. Smite War. No. Oh, they're coming. Ooh, I need to peel out because Jenna. I'm just hitting... Okay. Yeah, I just... Like, I stacked on the Arum. So I knew if I stacked enough and the it's going to pop, it's going to hit the Slayer as well. Kinda risky, since I was not in range to use the Smite, but it worked out. Like, sometimes you just have to take risk. Like, there is no point in playing passive and not doing anything. Like, just try to go for the risk and there, like... Always, like, always try to see your limits. If you're not trying anything out, you're being too passive and you're you're not getting anything out of it. Like take the risk and you are getting rewarded. And as you can see we got the Dark Slayer and we actually are in a really good position. They only have their tier 3 towers now and we still have all our tier 2 towers and one tier 3 tower, uh, tier 1 tower. Using, I use my ultimate to zone them. Let's see. I would just try to go for the tower now. Yeah, I got it. Bot wave is coming. Let's get the bot tower as well. Okay. Let's kill the arrow. We got another tower. Two of them are dead. Three of them are dead. I think we can just finish now. Yeah, just the midwave is coming. Push the midwave out now, and then we can five man uh, force at mid. 
Yeah, we still have 20 seconds, should be enough time. Okay, I ping rally since they are not coming. I don't know why they are not coming, we can just all straight go for the mid tower, uh, for the nexus. Okay, team is coming now. Why is Teamy attacking the Nexus? And and he has ultimate and Zenya has ultimate as well. <laughs> what the fuck? Lord. I think they uh, will be close. I'm not sure if they can get another tower. Yeah, that was bad. I think we could have ended any like three people were dead. Midwave was coming, 20 seconds on three people. We have Liliana, Zenyel, Timi, and Timi even had ultimate. So just straight force onto the Nexus. Let's see. We are actually not that far ahead in terms of gold. Nine, seven, okay. I just got red buff. Drake is going to spawn soon. I think we should just rush Drake. And then force... Yeah. Just rush Drake, force the tower. And then we need to... Hmm... <laughs> It will be risky. Iris is getting caught. Dude. Okay, we are peeling pretty good. We can kill Jenna now. Two for one. Can we kill Zenny as well? Three. Three for one. Mm, we should just. Okay. Lol, okay, Ari died. We should just go for the Nexus, uh, for Nexus Tower, uh, for the Tier 3 Tower. Okay, we got it. Mm, yeah, just go for, I get red, and then we go for the Dragon. And then regroup, push all the waves together, and then just go for the Nexus. And that should be game then. Let's see, let's see, we got it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I keep forgetting to pick the fucking buff. Lol. Oh my god. You don't need to remind me, I just saw and I just... I don't know who I... I have GA, I don't need it, I have GA. Everything, oh, wow, wow. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was close, holy. Maybe we can just get this on. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, push the waves out and then we go for the Nexus. We still have the buff for a decent amount of time. Let's see, let's see. Or maybe you can pick one of them off. Nah. Okay. Just trying to stay behind. I get. Oh wow. Oh wow. He used ultimate on me and he stood in my pa uh, ultimate. So I eat my own damage the whole time. La. Fuck. They can go for Dark Slayer now, to be honest. Yeah. I think we just have to let it fall, not like Dark Slayer is going to make them stronger. They are just getting the dragon. It's, it's really close. Like one bad position can throw the game right now. Okay, Murad and Ryoma are there. Oh wow, I got so much damage from Ryoma. Okay. They're low. Murad is low, they're going to spawn. 
Use my second so they get the dot damage. A okay. <laughs> Calculated by the way. No. Yeah, we can go for finish now. That should be game. So as you guys could see, barely any kills. Um, yeah, like six minutes into the game, no kills were fallen, and this game was all about who is outplaying the other in terms of macro gameplay and like better rotating and going for objectives quicker and faster. Um, yeah, this we played against Nova, against Vex, but it was not the whole um, their full lineup because Coco was missing and he is an amazing side laner and uh, split pusher. So let's see. Was pretty good game though. They played. They played pretty good, but they fucked up at the rotations. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future videos. See ya.